I can't help it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We was talking about it on the way to church this morning. And I told her, I said, I'm guilty of this. We always talk about the anointing. The anointing of God. And I told her this morning, I said, stop by the store. I've had an abscess this week. And my jaw's been swelled up like a golf ball. <laughs> uh, it's gone down tremendously right now. But I told her, stop at the shell station. Let's get some Advil. Because I know when I get done preaching, it's probably going to be throbbing this morning. When I get done running my mouth, Brother Mike, the anointing, and this is what I said, the anointing, when the anointing wears off. And the Lord spoke to me right then and right there. He said, the anointing don't wear off. The anointing don't wear off. We are speaking that. Listen, we are attracting the atmosphere. Why do we feel so good when we come to the house of the Lord? Because we are attracting heavenly atmospheres. Oh, I feel the help coming right there. When we come into the house, we say, Jesus, King of glory, I just want to be with you. We are worshiping God. We are drawing God and drawing heaven down. And that's why the Bible said he has called us and made us sit together in heavenly places. Don't this feel like heaven this morning? Don't you feel this? And when the atmosphere feels like this, when it's charged up, we're not alone in this building. Hallelujah, there's angels. And the Son of God is here with us. The Spirit of God is moving among us. Hallelujah the heavenly atmosphere that we draw. And the Lord spoke on the way to church this morning. He said, you don't have to leave it. It don't have to wear off. I go with you all the way. Even to the very end, I go with you on your job. I go with you on at home. Wherever you're going, I am there. But it starts with the words that we speak. When we come in here, we are saying, God, we just want to be with you. We just want to worship you. We praise you and we honor you. But when we go out there, listen to me now. When we go outside, our, our, our message changes. And therefore, the atmosphere changes. Now, this is something the Lord laid on me just coming here just a moment ago. When we get outside and when we get home, we say, man, it's a bad day today. Everything's going wrong. We quit saying, Lord, I just want to worship you. And we start saying, God, everything's going wrong. We begin to, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Amen. And you speak and you attract what kind of atmosphere you live in. Do you want to live in an atmosphere, a heavenly atmosphere, yes. like we are in the house of God? Yes. Listen, I do. I don't want this to wear off. And God said, I don't wear off. My God's stronger than a Tylenol. Yes. Tylenol wears off. My God's stronger than an Advil. Advil wears off. Oh, but God, hallelujah. If you'll just begin, continue to speak, and welcoming him in wherever you are. You can feel this wherever you are. God is the same there as he is here. Amen. This is just the church building that we. You are the church. We want to come to church, but we need to want to be the church. And live the church and, and do what God's called the church to do. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I can't, that's a whole other message. But we need to attract heavenly atmospheres. What am I saying? I'm glad you asked. I'm saying this, the Bible says that the devil is the prince of the power of the air. That means he is in control of the atmosphere than which outside in the world. The devil is in control of that atmosphere. But the Bible said that this world and everything that is in it belongs not to the devil, but it belongs to Almighty God. Hallelujah. And he, praise the Lord, owns the rights to everything. He has a cattle on a thousand hills and every potato underneath it. Glory to God. He owns it, not the devil. And so all you got to do is say, devil, you're a loser. My God owns everything. Everything and he will prevail, praise God. He will prevail. I'm not going to live in an atmosphere that the devil is ruling and reigning. I'm going to live in a heavenly atmosphere where the Son of God, Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, is King and Lord. Amen. I'm not going to live in a defeated atmosphere. God, we ain't going to let the devil win. We ain't going to let the devil defeat us. We're going to continue to worship you everywhere we go. And so don't let it wear off. Don't even speak that. I got my legs striped this morning. The, the Lord striped my legs. He said, I don't wear off. But the Bible says that the anointing goes with you wherever you go and that it breaks every yoke of bondage. Do you believe that this morning? Yes. That the anointing of God breaks every yoke of bondage. That lets me know 
something this morning. Oh, glory to God. There ain't no chain. They ain't no shackle. They ain't nothing that the devil can try to put on you. There ain't no mask he can try to silence you with. There ain't nothing that he can try to slow you down that can prevail if you don't let it. Make up our minds today. This is the day. We're going to worship you. Praise God. Do you have a need in here this morning? Let's lift up your hand. If you've got more than one, lift them both up. We know that God is able. So many empty seats this morning. I don't know where they're at, but God does. And we pray for them this morning that God would touch them and bring them back. We know where a few is at, but God, give them a good report. Give them a good Amen. healing, and then they'll be back soon. Amen. So we're believing for that. And if you believe, if you got any unspoken, just slip up your hand. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Brother Mike, could you come help us? And anybody, Brother Bone, you want to help us? Brother Steve, are you able? Here we are. All right. Praise the Lord. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. And then we'll take up our tithes and offerings and get that out of the way. And then we're just going to jump right into worship. Amen. Because that is why we are here, to worship God. That's why we come today. That's why we come, not just to get dressed up, not just to see and say amen, but to worship the King of glory. Does anybody feel what I feel right now? Yes. I believe there's angels all in this room, and God is moving all in this room right now. The atmosphere is being charged. The devil is on the run. Hallelujah. Because he knows that where two or three come together in the name of Jesus Christ, there is no place for him anymore in the midst. Because Jesus has his place and he said I will establish brother Steve God said I'll establish the praise of my people I will inhabit the praise of my people so let's praise the Lord this morning and let's go to him and pray and pray for all the needs. God, in the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name, God, we, we speak that name, that glorious name over every trial, every obstacle, every temptation, every sickness, every disease, anything, God, that has come against your people and against anybody, God, that these needs are for. We come against that by the power of the word of God and the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, that that is enough to break every yoke. And God, we lift up every need to you right now. And we ask you to move in a mighty way. Let your spirit, God, let it have free course here today. And Lord, may we speak nothing or hinder you in any way. But God, may we advance the gospel message, Lord, that you are God. And that you are coming again. Lord, help us this morning as we praise you and the glory and the praise goes up. Let the glory come down, God, in Jesus' name. And God, while we take up these tithes and offerings and get that out of the way, bless the gift and the giver. Lord, bless those who have and the ones who do not have the gift. Bless them abundantly, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Let's worship the Lord together. Yeah, before we sing this next song, I want to touch on something you were just talking about, Chad. Yeah. You know, when we're all gathered together, the Lord just showed me it's like an army. Yeah. You know, we are soldiers for Christ. Praise God. And there's been so many times you've talked about it, I've talked about it, where we come to church feeling bad, but when we get here, yes. we start feeling good. Yes. We get under that anointing. We get around our other soldiers yes. in Christ where, he, like you said, two or three are gathered. Yes. He is in the midst and the devil's got to run. Right. And the Lord just showed me that, yes, every time we come to church feeling bad, he's got to run. He's yes. got to flee. And I was telling those guys Friday night down there and when we were talking that it's it helps to surround yourself with people yes. who are believers. That's right. You can't be friends with worldly people <laughs> and expect to have a heavenly life. That's right. So, like last night, I came down here, hurt. I had a migraine all day yesterday. Yes. Was stressed out from my my wife's sister passing away. Yes. I come down here last night, and as soon as I got here, my headache started to go away. Yes. Before I even had to, I didn't even have to ask, ask anybody to pray yes. for me. I just got in the presence of other believers, and the devil had to flee. Yes. Mm, the shackles and the chains just fell off. That's the right, brother. Y'all, let's get into some, some serious worship this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what the Lord has us up here for. Um, it's not just for y'all to sit back there and enjoy the sound that's coming out of the speakers. Right. We're here to usher in the spirit. Yes. And if you need anything this morning, feel free to come get what you need from hey, the Lord. Amen. Yes. Looks like that. Yes. Who was it? Was Paul and Silas? Was it Paul and Silas that was in prison? Yes, sir, it was. Or was it Paul and Chad? Oh, come on, man. Or was it Paul 
And my brother Steve, or yeah. brother Dave, who, yeah. won, who won that? That's it. That's Amen. Who? That's right. But it was everyone. That's it. That's it. We've all Satan has the power to set up the scenario mm -hmm. in which we are cast. That's right. But God wrote the book yes. that told Satan what he could do with the scenario. That's right. And God said, I'll put you in tribulation, yes. but you're not of the tribulation. Right. Amen. You're in the trouble, uh -huh. but you're not the trouble. That's it. Amen. And when we look back, Brother Steve, and we've all been there, I can't look back. That's it. Brother Saul... Went to church all his life. Mm -hmm. And Brother Saul had the best training available. Yes, he did. Brother Saul was the son of a centurion soldier. Yes. Brother Saul's mother was of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Brother Saul had a little bit of everything. But you know what? Brother Saul didn't have. Brother Saul didn't have the touch of the spirit. That's right. I, see. I can know all about God's word. Yes, sir. But until God says, there you go. I'm going to open your ears today, Brother That's Dave. Right. That's it. I'm going to open your ears when you can hear. Yes. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was born as a tender plant and it grew up in a dry and dusty place. That's what it says. See, our Father Jesus and God the Father made that scenario that Jesus would be born just like I was. That's right. That Jesus would be born with no knowledge yes, sir. of who God the Father was. That Jesus would be just like me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when judgment day comes, Jesus ain't going to judge me more harshly than I deserve. Right. Jesus is going to judge me from what I did. Yes in the scenario that Satan set up. Yes. We need to know and understand that I'm in tribulation and can walk through tribulation. Yes. But Paul and Silas changed their situation. Yes, they did. The devil set up the scenario and chained them. Right. Sixteen soldiers guarding the prison. But right. God said, it's my world. That's right. Amen. That's it. Satan, I've only give you a little bit of leeway. Limited. That's God right. said, I created the waster to destroy. That's right. The smith that bought the coat. <coughs> God said, I created. That's it. But Satan would have us to believe that he created. Uh -huh. Satan cannot create anything. That's right. That's right. God made Absolutely. Satan to protect the mercy seat. Yes. And Satan decide, I want the mercy seat. That's right. You see, that's where we're at. We're in a test. That's right. We're in stuck in time. Yes. But God is timeless. Yes. And that song you were singing was my most favorite song. That's it, brother. Mm -hmm. The one that sent me to the front when I was eight or nine years old. That's right. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful song. That was when God one. touches you, you're touched. That's right. <laughs> and the world will say, they're touched. That's right. Them people's crazy. But I'm going to tell you something. Until they feel the touch, they never know what That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So everybody just praise God. Thanks for where you came from. Yes. yes. Because all that was for teaching. Absolutely. All that was for history. That's right. All that was for testimony. Mm -hmm. And when you get your testimony down, and God says, you ain't too big for me to talk to you, mm -hmm. God said, I'll tell you something. That's right. But when I get too big, when I get too big for myself, yes. you know what God says? Dave, I can't talk to you right now. That's right. You're too full of yourself. Yep. When you get that out of you, we'll, we'll convene. That's right. So everybody just remember, praise the Lord. I don't yep. care what's going on in Amen. the world. That's it. Amen. He can set the scenario, yes. but it's what we bring. That's right. That's, right. That's right. That's what causes the praise to come back. Absolutely. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Bye. 
the Savior. I fell far from above. I've been down to the river. Yes, I have. I had the same. A prodigal return. Oh! 